Welcome back to Crypto Coin Quest. Today I'll be talking about Quantum QTUM. So what is Quantum? It is a proof of stake smart contract open source blockchain platform and value transfer protocol. There's a pretty good article here by Cryptopedia that tells you exactly what it is. It's basically a hybrid blockchain merging Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's an innovative UTXO based blockchain. The UTXO, that just is the way that Bitcoin secures its network. That is smart contract capable, like Ethereum, and compatible with the Ethereum virtual machine. This is the software development kit that a lot of the decentralized applications are familiar with. Quantum's innovative technology is well suited for decentralized finance and Internet of Things applications, while its native QTUM quantum coin enables users to take part in network governance. So it was launched back in 2017, so it's an older coin. It's a hybrid blockchain that combines aspects of various leading blockchain networks into a new protocol. So the ecosystem is powered by its native coin quantum, which uses proof of stake consensus mechanism, an innovative virtual machine middleware translator, the AAL, which is the account abstraction layer. That's the patented part of this uh, blockchain network. So it requires a license to use and uh, to pay for the license, you have to buy a certain amount of quantum and wrap it up um, in that license, which is valid for a certain amount of time and then it can be renewed with more uh, quantum purchases. So it actually keeps the tokenomics of quantum pretty good. But at the end of the day, we are seeing some major price action with quantum. And I wanted to find out why that is. And I found that now Travala.com has partnered with Quantum Foundation to integrate quantum. Basically, quantum token holders will soon be able to book over 3 million travel products in 230 countries, boosting quantum adoption, of course. So now if you hold quantum, you can book over 2.2 million hotels, homes, airlines, 400,000 plus activities, uh, all through Travala.com. Basically, they're taking quantum as currency. So this is really good news. When we see big websites like this accepting cryptocurrency, it's always bullish for the whole industry. Also, they have a stakeathon. They're sponsoring this stakeathon, which adds super staker or um, address delegation rewards. So they basically have higher interest rates and certain bonuses if you stake from now uh, well, really, it was from April 1st, and it's ending July 1st. So I imagine the people that want to get in on the stakeathon and take advantage of the bonuses are probably picking up some quantum, which is pumping the price up quite a bit today. We're up 15%. Um, it was up almost 20% at one point earlier today. So what are the pros of the project? It's got a thriving ecosystem of dApps that are already available and more in development as developers are familiar with the Ethereum virtual machine and can seamlessly develop for quantum if they're used to building on Ethereum. So if we're looking at their dApps, this is on their official website, this is the number of dApps they have is really quite nice. Now I didn't recognize any of them except for Bitclave. Uh, this is a decentralized search engine that basically lets you pick what you're, how you're going to be advertised to. So you get paid, I believe, to customize your search engine as to how you want to get marketed to on Bitclay. That's, that's as far as I know about this dApp, but that's the only one I recognize. But there are quite a few dApps already that they have. Another pro is it's focused on interoperability. So by being a Bitcoin Ethereum hybrid model, it's kind of the best of both worlds. Security and longevity of Bitcoin, but with the proof of stake consensus and the ease of use that Ethereum brings to the table for deploying smart contracts. It's about the currency and a developer-friendly ecosystem. It has staking options and decentralization. The team encourages staking by offering competitive rewards, and the ability to start up a node easily makes it more decentralized. What are the cons? It's not open source. It is a patented technology with licensing required for usage. However, this is part of what keeps the tokenomics of the project so good, because in order to use the license, they must lock up a certain amount of quantum, which gives quantum more value and regular volume. So overall, it's a very interesting project that does have a lot of adoption. Despite the price being very volatile, the team continues to push for more and more development and adoption, which is a good sign overall for the project. Right now, with 107 million max supply and current 91% dilution, the market cap sits around rank number 84 and the price action does move as more and more news is released about adoption. Something to keep an eye on for now and I would not be surprised to see a return back to the $18 to $20 level in the near future. So that's it for Quantum. What do you guys think? 
Let me know down in the comments below, and until next time, keep your portfolio strong and your hands stronger.